my guest today is h r v y that's harvey for you not hervey or yes. hervey hervey <laughs> just harvey just harvey all the way from where are you joining us from right now from just outside of london from the outside from of the london night. back home yeah. hit maker of one day two nights and uh, a true maker of the kind of music that puts a smile on your face i think um hello oh. harvey hello yeah thank you. that was a nice intro thank you <laughs> um you took the vowels out of your name why is that cuz i thought i was cool and it's not really <laughs> that cool really if i'm honest but um yeah. I, i mean just, it's easier oh, to google exactly and that's really what it was for to google but i mean it's cool people ask the question all the time so it's good you know it gets people thinking gets people asking so yeah yeah, yeah. that's a good reason um i i do want to take things back a notch though because songs like personal Yes. and uh, i won't let you down and told you so i was just listening wow. to these and they're so nice and your music has this very relatable things we all go through vibe yeah, right yeah. there is the relatable pop songs basically relatable pop songs can you remember a time though uh, when you decided music was going to be your outlet for these things do you know what ever since i was a young boy i wasn't very good at anything else but music and in school everyone was playing football and stuff and I was like I want to sing you know yeah. and I think I was I realized that was the only thing I was good at yeah and when I was about 13 I was like do you know what this could be a thing that I could do as a hobby and then 14 was when I signed to a record deal and I was like whoa like maybe this could be a career maybe I don't know still doing it as fun yeah and now you know I live in my I just built a house so I live in my house and I've made a career out of something that I love which I'm which I'm so happy about and I realized music is this thing that I'm going to do for the rest of my life and I'm happy to do that. Oh and we're happy to hear it as well. Um how amazing is it though 14 years you you got a head start on things and I am glad you didn't play any sports let's just put it that way. Thank um, you. Um you did start off by making covers like when you were very yeah. young. Yeah and yeah, can yeah. You, can you remember a uh, cover that was one of your favorite ones that you've done. Yeah, so I remember I mean I did covers yeah when I was about 13 years old and I posted it on Facebook yeah. with my friend who played the guitar. And <laughs> I remember I remember doing a cover in my onesie. I had like a onesie, <laughs> camo onesie. Yeah. And it was like at Christmas time and it was what song was it? No. Do you know what? There was I for some reason I used to wear onesies in all of my covers for some weird reason. That, that's a great idea. Somebody I should know. like patent that. Yeah. Patent that. I know. For some reason I thought it was cool. But yeah. I did one at Christmas time, but the one I remember is a camo onesie and I sang a song called Titanium by Sia and David Guetta. Ooh, and that, is, that was like the first song that went viral of mine yeah. on, on Facebook. So that kind of started everything off. But yeah, that was um that was me. Yeah, it was a weird time. That's a great song. That's a great song to cover and a great song to cover in a onesie. So exactly. Sounds like it was an amazing video, um, but one day, two nights, man, what a what a jam! Like, it really I is mean, such a fun song to listen to, and um, every time it comes on, I go dum dum da da dum. I know <laughs> it's so annoying. I apologize, but it's it's a good annoying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can imagine for you because you put it a whole lot. Yeah. But if you had to sell, all right, this is a little bit of a fun question. If you had to sell one day, two nights. to someone who doesn't listen to music a whole lot what would you tell them about the song i would say if you want a song that you you want to want to dance to and you want to sing along because it's so annoying in a good <laughs> way in a good way and you want to have a song that you can dance with your friends with yeah you know and feel cool and a little bit sexy yeah then one day to not some for you <laughs> it brings out all the emotions and hey you know i mean the only reason you would find a song annoying is because you've heard it so many times before. yeah no i know i know because i've heard it so many times but that dumb that dumb, dumb sticks in your head <laughs> it really does did you though did you anticipate the success of one day two nights because i'm sure you didn't think about it while you were making it but then you know when you heard the final product you must have gone like I mean you must have gotten some sort of a gut feeling. Yeah, maybe. well it's the the day in the studio started off as a ballad, you know, we were going to write a ballad song and then yeah. somehow we came up with the most clubby song I've ever come out with and it was an accident. And my gut told me maybe we should release this because it's not like me. Yeah. 
to do a song like this, but I feel like, the, especially the UK, we love dance music. So yeah. maybe this is the song we should go with because it's different and it's dancey and it's clubby. And we did, so yeah. Right now, I want to play a little game with you and I have called it Let's get personal with Harvey in less than one day, two nights. All right. So hopefully, I like it. I like that. Let's do hopefully it. Hopefully in less than a minute because it's kind of a rapid fire. All let's right. Do it. But it's a little unfair to you because my questions are kind of long, but let's go with it. Um, you put making good music about fame or anything else that may come with it. Right. In one sentence, tell me which of these is more important than the other and why fame or money? I think oh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Do you know what? I think money gives you options in life. So if you're ever, and that's all you want in life is to be able to do, have choices. Because when you have your choices taken away from you, it's very hard. So money will sometimes give you the outlet to do what you want to do in life. So. Off yeah. to a good start. Okay. Do you have your phone handy? And if you do, can you show me the last picture you took? The last picture I took was yeah. of a video of a Zoom meeting that didn't work. Which was, oh, was it this one? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I took a video to send to my manager being like, I can't get this link to work. So that, well, that, that was your Zoom. Some strange, weird, cosmic way, I am now part of your phone gallery. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Being grounded in spite of having massive success seems to be um, an important element in your lifestyle, let's say. So what's one quality of yours you never ever want to let go of? I have this quality, I think, that um, it's good and a bad quality, but nothing's ever good enough. And it, it, but that makes me always want to strive for more. Yeah. And it makes me not big headed, you know, I think. Yeah. Because I feel like as soon as you're complete, you know, you're, you're happy with what you've got and you, you love what you've got and da 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 da. Sometimes you, that, you know, that can be, yes. I always want more, you know, and yeah. I think that's what makes me not. I think that's what makes me humble, you know? I'm not like, oh, look what I've got, look what I've, some success that I've had. It's always like, yeah. no, I can do better, I can be better. There's always bigger people and I've still got to climb the ladder, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's great. I am just like that, but when it comes to food, I always want more. Exactly, I, I feel you. I heard somewhere, I don't know if this is true, but you prefer cereal at night. What do you eat yeah. for breakfast? Well, I've actually got cereal now, this morning, but oh. it's only because I had an early start. But okay. I, I prefer eating cereal at night, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Well, coming to weird things, what's a weird talent um, you have that you can show me? Oh, okay, I can do this like water droplet noise with my like mouth, really? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Oh my God. Yeah, wait. <laughs> that is so strange. No. Uh, Your mum roasts meat in Coca-Cola, is this true? That's so true. It is? Okay, can you give me the recipe in 20 seconds? Oh my God, I can't even cook myself. It's gammon and it's Coke and it's dark syrup, like black syrup it's called, I think. And you mar you marinate it and you put it in the in the oven and you bake it for two hours. Okay, that's a, that's a vague recipe, but we're gonna yeah. have to roll with it because I don't think you can Google Actually, this. I mean, don't, I mean, yeah, don't take that as like the recipe because otherwise you'll get food poisoning, but it's something <laughs> like that. Any dark syrup, it can be maple uh, or maybe soy um, sauce. Yeah, any, any of that stuff, it'll work. If you had to stay up all night, what's something that will make you go dum dum da da dum? <laughs> um, uh, oh God, a song. If a you song. know, if, I, if I'm if I'm in bed and a song plays, yeah, I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay up all night and sing with it or a good movie makes me want to stay up all night. Finally, um, I honestly can't imagine one day, two nights sounding any different than it does. But since you did say you started off wanting to make a ballad, yeah. Yeah. how would one day, two nights sound if it were a slowed down version? Wow, I don't know. I mean, it's been one day and two nights. I don't want to go home. Now it's too late for goodbyes. You're the one that I want. In the dark, you're my highlight. Don't like that, probably. I don't know. Oh, that's uh, the beginning of an acoustic version right here. You heard it first. There you go. You got the acoustic version. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look forward to that coming out. But that brings Thank us you. to the end of this interview. Well, thank um, you so much. I really appreciate it. It was good fun. I mean, it wasn't a minute to get to know me, but I tried. 
<laughs> it was definitely lesser than one day and two yeah. nights. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was Bye -bye. lovely speaking with you. Bye. Bye.